All right, here's another problem where an ice chart will be helpful. So I'll write HCN aqueous, and that is going to become H plus aqueous and CN minus aqueous and ICP. And unlike the problem that was solid, this is aqueous, so we actually do have to account for it. It's only if it's solid or liquid that we can pretty much ignore it. So what is told to us? We know the start, 0.2 moles of HCN is added to one liter of water. So 0.2 moles out of one liter, that is 0.2 molar. So that is our initial concentration of HCN, is 0.2 molar. And again, we can usually assume our concentration of these is zero, but it's not told to us otherwise. And we know, um, we're trying to figure out the concentrations of all the species here. We're also told the value of K. So we don't know how much H plus is going to go up. We know it's going to go up by X, an unknown. If it's a one to two ratio, we know this is also going to go up by X. We know this is going to drop by X. So our equilibrium concentrations are X, X, and over here this is 0.2 minus X. And if I set this up as an equation, I would say that, okay, the formula for K is H plus times CN minus over HCN. And so if I set this up now, I'm essentially saying, okay, X times X over 0.2 minus X equals this value of K, 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10. Problem is, if I go to solve this, x times x is x squared, so x squared, and then if I bring the 0.2 minus x over, so x squared equals 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10 times 0.2 minus x, I quickly see that this is going to become a quadratic equation because I have an x squared term. When this gets distributed through, I'm going to have a, um, a, a constant term, and I'm going to have an x term. This is going to be ugly. We would have to use the quadratic formula. So this value of k is extremely small. And this is a relatively decent size of concentration. So we're not expecting this reaction to go very far to the right, meaning x is going to be pretty small because this reaction is very much reactant favored. So if x is going to be extremely small, we can simplify this. Instead of saying 0.2 minus x, that is roughly equivalent to just 0.2 because if x is extremely small, then it's really not going to change all that much. So I can change my equation, and I can get rid of this nasty quadratic. So I get 0.2, so x times x over 0.2 equals this value. So I have x squared over 0.2 equals 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10. And now I can say, okay, well then x squared equals uh, 6.2 times 0.2, 1.24 times 10 to the negative 10, and then I can take the square root of both sides, and I can get the final answer is 1.11 times 10 to the negative 5. That is the value for x, rather. It's not the final answer, because then we want to know the concentration of everything. So the concentration of h plus is equal to 1.11 times 10 to the negative 5. The concentration for Cn minus is also 1.11 times 10 to the negative 5, because those are simply x. And the concentration for HCn is going to be 0.2 minus 1.11 times 10 to the negative 5. And you're very quickly going to see that our initial assumption was right. This is really not going to be any different at all. In fact, it's such a small difference that I'm really just going to end up calling this 0.2 again. Um, it, it would pretty much round up. So those will be the final concentrations of my species here. And that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.